Hello, I'm Ben with LawnSense, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your ESP TM2 controller by Rainbird. Come on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our date and time. These uh, left and right arrows are going to be able to move through the values. The plus and minus will change the values, whichever one you want them to be. Once you get to the end here, you'll hit the right arrow again. That's going to bring you over the time. Same thing, plus or minus changes the values. Arrow keys move through the values. These are going to be our start times. So this is going to indicate how many times in a day our cycle is going to run. So if we want to run one cycle at 3 a.m., which is what most of our technicians um, recommend, we would go here. We'd move it up to 3 a.m. Now, the one thing you need to also know is when it says off, if you're trying to turn one off, you need to make sure that you bring the time above 11.45 and before 12 a.m. That's where you're going to find your off position. Otherwise, you're going to have to move all the way through the clock to get all the way back around to that off position to where you're not running the extra station. That's going to take care of your start times. The next thing you're going to do is come down to your run times. This is what is going to determine how long each of these stations run. So same thing, plus or minus changes this value. The arrow keys will move through your value. And then you need to know how many stations you have to program. These controllers come in 6, 8, and 12 stations. So if you have a 12 station one, there's a good chance you may not have all 12 stations. You may only have 6, 7, or 8 of them. Just check to see. Um, so once you get that set, you're going to come down to water days. Now the water days are pretty easy. Any of these days where you see the water droplet is a day it's going to run. You can move through the days with the arrow keys. And same thing, plus or minus will change the value. When you see this circle with the slash through the water droplet, that's going to be an indication of a day that is not going to run with the cycle. And you can go through and kind of set it, you know, just the way you want to set it. Um, seasonal adjustment. The one thing you need to know about the seasonal adjustment is this is 100% of the runtime that you set. So if you have 10 minutes on station one, taking this down to 50%, we'll cut that runtime in half, so it'll only run five minutes. If you take this up to 200%, it'll run that station for 200 for, for 20 minutes, and that's going to work across all of your zones, so it's going to bring up your percentage on every one of your zone's runtimes. So once you get through that, this is going to be your manual section. You can choose to run all of them for a spe specified interval, or you can come through with the arrow keys and just pick the one that you want, set it for what you want, and then anytime you want to run something on this controller, all you have to do is hold this right arrow and it'll prompt you when it started. You can let it go and it'll run exactly what you told it to run for the allotted time. And you can verify that by flipping it up to the automatic slash run position and you can see that this controller is running. So, and the way we turn this off is we flip it to off. You wait three to five seconds or you wait for the rotter droplet to go away and the off button to flash up. And that's how you complete the shutting off. So then the last thing you need to know is on the main screen here, if you hold your right arrow key, it will run your programmed automatic cycle one time. Once it gets to the last station, it will shut off. It'll go back to the automatic program that you set and we'll resume it just that way. And that's it. That's how you program the ESP TM2.